and you want to make sure that you still get told stuff. I know exactly how this business works. <laughs> Pucker up. All right. Oh, oh, that's going to be a meme. Because, one, he's backpedaling on his report that was leaked to him by Carson's camp, and today was a backpedal. So you're backpedaling five goddamn days later, and you need to make a statement about it? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I'm not an idiot, dude. Okay? And that's why you're crumbing today. You said what you said, and you released that shit Sunday fucking morning. All right? That's poor journalism. Release that shit Monday. And if anybody watched the game on Sunday, that was the opposite of a bad teammate. Listen, I'll be critical of this dude on the field this year. All I fucking want. But at no point did I ever say bad teammate, bad dude, none of that. Right? We we maybe thought some of that could be going on, but we never confirmed it. We never rushed to judgment here and yelled from the rooftops, this, is, this dude's the worst human being in the world. We all knew he doesn't want to stay here and be a backup. Who would? It's common sense. That wasn't breaking fucking news. All right? It's, 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 a, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's it's the media driving it. And listen, do we play a part in it? Well, when news comes out, we play a part because we talk about it. Yeah. So we're not trying to drive it. Like, that's the topic. That's what we're going to talk about. That's what people want to talk about. But, like, we're not here to ever drive the fucking agenda that's driven around here. I mean, all you do is listen in here. We I fucking, I told you, I know other guys told you exactly what was happening here. His agent leaked it from Carson's agent leaked it to him because that puts pressure on the organization. It got blown out of proportion. Freaking the jerk off Shefty didn't report it right and made it out to be him being a bad teammate and then had a backpedal on his statement five days later because he got heat from Carson's camp. I know exactly what happened. Grow up if you clip this shit. And if you don't know what happened, all right, then it's your first time being in the media or even paying attention to a sport or just having a clue. I mean, connect dots. Nobody ever connects dots. Why are you backpedaling on it? Because you got heat from your source, which is his agent, and you want to make sure that you still get told stuff. I know exactly how this business works. <laughs> Pucker up. All right. Oh, oh, that's going to be a meme. You all thought Fox was the only one doing it back in the day. Right? Chef had to blow some things to get to where he had, and Woj is the worst, too. I mean, Woj tickles balls for info. All right? So. All these guys, dude, and they'll backpedal and they'll backtrack. And I'm not saying they don't do a hell of a job because they report a lot of information to us, right? And I give them a ton of credit for that, all right? But a lot of these guys are not connected into what's going on in these cities that they report shit on, right? So then, so then our beat writers pick up their bullshit. And it's how the whole circus starts. The whole circus starts by the national media are saying stuff that then gets picked up by the local media, and then the whole thing is spiraling out of control, and this guy's a piece of shit. He tried, they went hunting together. He tried shooting Jalen. Like, this is the shit that this media makes up. I got zero time for it. What? What? I didn't read that one. I, I missed that article. It's like the scene from uh from Wedding Crashers. Yeah. Where he shoots him in the air yeah. with the buckshot. Oh god. I was with you, Tom. I was with you. And I'm like, wait, hold on. Pause. Pause. Everyone pause. Oh god. Keith, we usually do, Keith, but we gotta talk about it too, you know. But we don't try to create drama through it. Like, you know what I mean? We just more talk to you guys about like what's going on. Um, it's just unfair. Like I just think that you should be getting if we want reports, then let's get it from from our sources inside our media that actually covers this team on a daily basis. Yep. And this year's different. So like who, like nobody's in there. Like there's no beat reporters inside there. They yeah, they're at the games, but they're not in a press room. Everything, even yeah. though they're even though they're at the physical games, they're still zoomed in for oppressors and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. So they have no feel what's going on, like inside, inside, you know, like yeah. usual. You're right. Yeah, I mean, Pooty says, you know, Chris Bassard has been saying Ben and Joe hate each other for years. Never seen them step foot. Never seen him step foot in Philly a day in my life. The media thrives and lives on drama. And that's that's not just media and sports. That's media, period. All right? And that's why I don't 
that's why you guys know. I mean, you guys, we've been we've been with each other long enough. I don't buy into half the shit that's reported anyway. There's always truth to it, and there's always bullshit for clicks to it. It's like yeah. that combo effect that you don't know what's really real, but you know all of it's not real, right? You know, like, okay, this little bit's real. The little, little you know, they give you a little, a little appetizer, right? Like a little appetizer's real, but the fucking dinner's fake as shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you bite into the steak, you're like, hey, this is, this is a fake dog, a fake dog toy. You know what I mean? What kind of steak is this, the rubber? So <laughs> I just think that's what is so hard because this is what they think. Like, you think that Shefty ain't thriving off of them quick Sunday morning? Oh, God. Come on, that's dude. Weird. He's probably telling, he's probably like, He's probably giving himself a massage to the clips.